G'day, it's Robert here from Australian Camping and Four Wheel Driving. So uh, today I wanted to have a chat with you guys and uh, continue on with the videos that we've been doing. Um, the ones we did out at Brendale when we went out and we saw Tofty and uh, we met up with um, Luke as well and uh, Buck from far north Queensland. And uh, so in today's episode we're going to uh, continue on with uh, what they were doing out there and uh, show you a little bit about around the showroom, it was really good. Um, I thought I might talk to you a little bit too about some of the things I, I'm planning on, um, on uh, adding to the videos as uh, we go through um, the season. Um, so some things I want to put on here, I want to go through the Mitsubishi Challenger that, I've, that I own and I uh, want to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that I've done with it as well. There's some uh, really cool little things that we've done with the Challenger. Uh, it's uh, a couple of years old now and it's had a bit of work done to it and um, I think you might be impressed with the things that we've done with that one. Also going to spend a little bit of time guys going through the Ford Ranger and uh, talk a little bit about uh, that vehicle and what we've done with it as well. Uh, we really enjoy driving that car and uh, it's a lot of fun, hey? So uh, gonna also ha have a yap and uh, talk a little bit about the camping gear that we use as well, hey? Uh, we've got a fair range of camping gear these days and I thought, hey, you might as well share it with everyone else and uh, talk to them a little bit about what we do, why we do it. And uh, I figure that some of the guys out there, you'll appreciate some of that also, hey? So um, I suppose without any further ado, we're gonna get stuck into it and uh, watch this video. Yeah, I've been excited to see the, see the this isn't the final result, no, this, this is, is a prototype. the prototype, yeah. So we've been working on that since probably about six months now. So um, things happen pretty fast, but it takes time. So we wanted a queen size inner sprung mattress in a rooftop tent and we couldn't really find one out there in the market. So I said to Luke one day, why don't we build our own? And that's what we've done, mate. Yeah. So, it's really built for us. Uh, it's gonna fit straight on our trailers. It integrates with all our own gear, with our, um, fits on there nicely with our frame, all our uh, systems on the side with our awnings, it works with that. Yeah. But the main feature, mate, what we wanted was people don't wanna walk up ladders eventually, so we're making that easy with our front entrance, so we call it our walk up hard top. Yeah. We wanted a big awning off the front that stays on the thing, so yeah. you can tell that's pretty big. The other thing we really wanted was that nice mattress, so yeah. it had to be at least uh, a queen size bed. So that's a genuine queen size bed you could go by anywhere in a yeah. sprung. So you're not going to spend two nights getting used to camp, mate. And you can just yeah. head up there because I've watched a lot of your videos and yeah. it seems like it takes you a long time to get the bed, mate. <laughs> I'm usually sitting around the campfire at two o'clock in the morning, but anyway. Well, we're going to do a, a more in-depth one on this with Luke a little bit later on, guys. We'll do a separate clip on it, and Luke can really go into the nitty-gritties of of this new um, the rooftopper here because he's got some real good plans on what he wants to do with this, and it's real exciting, solar panels and all that. So we'll have a, a better chat about yeah. that a bit later on. We'll keep moving around and Come on. show you the rest of the store. So you've started, uh, you got a bit of it, mate. Yeah, mate, yeah. Unifying the snow peaks, so really high quality Japanese products. Um, we find that all their stuff, they get less than 1% returns. So it's not just your cheap stuff, it's actually high quality. You buy it once, basically for life. Yeah. So you've had a bit of it, it's pretty good. Like, mate, it's um, good gear, I'll vouch for that, yeah, yeah for the stuff so I've got. Not for everyone, but we just find there's a lot of people want this stuff. You can see in the background here, what we're trying to do too is get people at home, even if you can't go camping all the time, you can use this gear at home, teach your kids how to, you know, get around and cook together, muck around together. My kids now make pizzas, all sorts of stuff because of all this gear. Yeah. So it can be at that height or it can be like over here where you get it down nice and low. Because yeah. pretty much how we've set this up is this is how we go now. If we're going for a decent camp, we have a dot and we've got the hexatarp. So they're the two things that we use. So if you walk over here a bit, you'll see. Jeez, there's some coverage in that hexatarp, mate, yeah. isn't there? Yeah, no, mate. Have a look at the, the, the shade this is needing to provide. You at Christmas time, you know, yeah. when I was talking to you, and yeah. this is the exact one. I spent two weeks on the beach there. I've had it for about six months. Um, this is exactly what we had. So we just sit around like this, mate, and you can pizza oven if you want to, and see how you can sit nice and low there. Like, yeah. it just all works. And I find, like, my kids come in and hang out there. You've got the lounge. You don't need a lounge, but it's pretty cool to take a lounge. It's not bad, eh? Yeah. All packs down to nothing. But we use this stuff at home, see? It's sort of really high-end outdoor furniture now. Yeah. And so we can utilise it for both. So that makes it a lot more cost effective. I had a big table at home that I never used. I used to blow it off once a week. Yeah. Now I hang out with all this gear. So And that's the thing, guys. Have you seen my channel? I do a lot of cooking at home in the backyard because both me and Roz are shift workers. We don't get a lot of time to get out camping. But as you said, mate, 
you can set this stuff out in your backyard, get the kids and the family out and have a, have a cook up at night out in the backyard, a Saturday night or whatever. It feels like you're camping anyway, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And um, you, you have a cook up in the backyard, guys. Get out, get away from the TVs and get out of the house and yeah. this is the yeah, ideal yeah, stuff to do it with, eh? Hey. So keep on coming through. So yeah, mate, we got everything here. Mepho stoves and charcoal. We, we've sort of been using a lot of mepho. It's safer, a bit easier to use. Oh, that's the mepho one yeah, there, is it right, eh? Hey? I thought she was a gas one. No, nah, you can throw your gear in here, like... <coughs> She gives you everything, mate. So that's all. That's that same stuff as there. So you can run at all different heights, yeah. different legs. Different. So that's a mepo as well. That's what I run in my trailer. Mepo stove. So they're yeah. really good, high quality. They're a marine stove. And so mepo is really. Oh, good. that's the one Luke uses on the boat, mate. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is that flush mount one. This is what I use in the trailer. So that's all you got. You pull them out. They're non spill. Fill them up, and off you go. Got the same controls, just light it up, no gas to hook up. Wow, well, well, yeah. Mate. So I love that, I use it all the time. I can't believe, like I've been watching a lot of the Drifter YouTube clips guys and I knew they had a lot of gear, but until you actually walk into the store here and just see how many different configurations and setups there is, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, have a look at this little yeah. charcoal griller there, mate, eh? So this is Kills, our Uni Sierra. It's got the actual ceramic tiles on there, so you use next to no uh, charcoal at all, mate. It's got a nice little tray, you can pull it all out. Yeah. It packs flat, so you just take it with you. I use that me and Callum just to go with it's just me and him. Look where you can put it anywhere. It won't transfer heat down here. I often and sometimes on Saturday just put a couple of little stakes there and off you go. So it's really And that's it folded down that's here it mate. Folded down. Have a look at this guys. Got a little bit of weight. They're not they're not because it's got the ceramic Oh it's got the tiles. ceramic tiles. I mean have a look how how it packs up. You throw that in the back of your four wheel drive or in your trailer and Take have a look at it. Charcoal and away little you bag of charcoal and there's your cooking for a week and, and the other thing too if you're in caravan parks and that they don't like you having open open fires and all that there and the having charcoal's the way to go in the caravan parks, eh? Because let's face it, a lot of us do camp in the caravan parks. It's convenient yeah. for the girls with the showers and all that there. So unbelievable the amount of gear here, mate. Yeah, so yeah. as you can see, look how many chairs and tables. And I mean, you can fit a heat. I've only got this. We have it set up the whole way at home. So we get friends around. We'll get about 12, 14 of us have big pizza cook up because you can actually, the girls make all the stuff along the way. Yeah. And then you just punch them through the fire pit with the um, pizza oven on there and she's all pretty easy mate. How the pizzas come out in this little oh, thing, mate, they're all right? Yeah, yeah. they're like wood fire pizza, so oh. away you go. This now is you're talking. Six stainless, like, you feel that? Have a look at the quality of that. Yeah, it's not cheap and nasty, guys. It's, um, and you know, like, you pay a good price for this stuff, this Snow Peak and Uniflame, but you're paying for quality, and when you actually feel it and you, you see it in real life, it's good quality gear. It's it's not cheap and nasty, nah. is it? It's, it's all 316. Yeah. So you got no As I said, you buy it, guys. You buy it, that's it for life. You'll, you'll have it for the rest of your life. So that's always, keep that in the back of your mind. You buy this gear, um, it's money well spent, it really is. Uh, you, well, we we yeah. find we don't have to do a big sales pitch. I don't know anyone in here, people buy this stuff when they see it, touch it, yeah. feel it they can see the quality it's it's obviously more expensive but it sells because yeah. they buy it once and that's it for life yeah and there's a lot of people out there that that Having just can't they, they just can't, can't afford budget. it and then they can go a cheaper option but there are other people there that go yeah i just want to buy it once and never again and, and nobody it, started yeah. there i started the first thing i bought was a medium fire pit you yeah know? so mate i started there and it just keeps building if yeah. you can i just save up you just add on can i add on okay uh, geez. look at our trials this is one of our dots so this is where we're getting serious now, guys, the old dot trailers. I'll tell you, I had a look at this before the camera went on and Luke ran me over it. And we'll, we'll do another separate clip on this, but I'll tell you what, impressive. When you get under and you actually see it in real life as opposed to on the videos, the quality of that awning, um, that square back awning there, unbelievable. You can just see the quality in it. I was just going to say, it's like one of my favourite little drink tables. It's called a My Table. And the Japanese, you know, so you sit down, you want a drink. There you go, you're done, you know, it sits right beside your table. Look better with a couple of great northern sitting on it, mate. Had a couple on there last <laughs> night. Alright, let's have a look, eh? How are you, mate? So, 
first thing like everyone knows is like we run the square back super peg awning but we drifterize it so it's obviously green we make a few little changes just to suit us the cool things with these is like got a lot of room has not it yeah oh, heaps of room mate very unique too awesome, like yeah. we run an l-shaped kitchen so you don't waste all this space so a lot of trailers people pull everything out of here yeah. but you tend to lose all this space we lose which is where their shade is yeah, yeah. So we lose the most minimal space because we use just that l shape so we're losing less than a couple percent of our awning and look at all this you got yeah massive you know it's only us here but you can fit a heap under here you know yeah. so and again, said, yeah. we do ours on actuators so you can raise and lower our awning so we can get this right up for really wet conditions like up where you are up north queensland or we can lower it down make it easy for rods to hook it all up see yeah. so that comes down to this height then you can actually work with the thing so because we're the manufacturers you know it's been great with someone like luke because he's creating this yeah. stuff but he actually uses it and i think a lot of people notice that because he's yeah. using it he'll go oh we just need to make that better or this yeah. needs a little tweak here so you get a lot of these people they make stuff guys but they don't actually go out and use it themselves and you'll see luke he's always out using it he, he uses it in the real world and if something's not right he'll tweak it and he'll make it even better and uh, you know he's talking to me about this awning this morning about how you've got the fold down legs and you can peg the legs down yeah. you can also put guy ropes if you want the quality of that canvas australian canvas there yeah. unbelievable here, you can right? just feel how thick and, and high yeah. quality it is you can put the curtains on and i said we'll go into more detail a bit later you can lower the legs if you've got a bit of bad weather you can put the curtains on you can lower the legs down there's just it's, it's, it, it's it is mate yeah and look at the, the storage inside here, these dots too, yeah. for all your bags and all your camp chairs, your tables when they fold up, just straight into there, eh? So we have a lot of options, it's obviously our smallest canopy, for some yeah. people who don't need as much, we have large, medium, so we can... So you can order what size yeah, canopy you want. Yeah, came obviously with a small, one over here has got a uh, medium, and then obviously we have a large, and this is our six foot trailer, so we build four, five, six foot trailers, so yeah. we've sort of got everything covered there. Yeah. Is there a dot seven? Or is it, or is it's it? a dot seven as well so yeah. four five six and sevens yeah anywhere in there you want and that all comes down to people how much kitchen they really want yeah so the bigger the trailer obviously more storage and the bigger kitchen space so yeah they really started in that world you know with in the kitchen kitchens. yeah kitchens and drawers so that's how still you see yeah. um, obviously very looks as you know pretty simplistic so get your water go and get rid of it near a tree or something instead of we used to drill a hole drop it into a bucket and then do the same thing yeah so, you can run a gas stove if you like. We run the Australian made uh, Evercool, so yep. that's a 47, you can get a 60 litre. I was having a chat to the boss Evercool at the four wheel drive show yesterday actually, the South African guy. Yeah. yeah. Well uh, I found them good to work with because I wanted one that uh, had a longer, I didn't want the two compartments. Yep. And so yeah, no worries mate, they'll just ring them up in one week they had it ready to go. Yeah. And that one over there you'll see it's got the nice longer element in there. So yeah. because they're locally here you can work with them. And that's a bloody Luke's dealing with Aussie companies guys you know he's ever cool there on the Sunshine Coast and um, the canvas mob yeah they're, you know, like, everyone's around here like they're, the they're all moment. local it's all Aussie stuff guys and that's what we've got to get on board and really start promoting Australian manufacturing which is on something I'm passionate about yeah, where I definitely. can where, where I can. can that's what yeah. we're trying to do so we um, we try and integrate a lot of our different things this is our iron grill table again but we can hook this onto our dot trailers either here or back here uh, double charcoal box mate so people want to go away and cook with charcoal yeah. you can put that pizza oven on here as well so she's not bad you can have a full kitchen plus a pizza oven with you it's not really camping eh? like, I'm gonna sell my house and just get one of these so just live out of here you can live that. out of this forever as long as no cyclones come nah. I suppose you <laughs> so wouldn't need a house so you just got heaps of storage and, and we've shown all this before so you know but like not sort of known for that storage space nice light you know whole thing this one yeah. weighs about 900 kilos so pretty good you can take a nice light with you yeah still be you know covered this one had independent suspension i've got one coming uh through my own trial in three weeks time we'll have uh, airbag yeah yeah component suspension so that's really nice so we're working a lot with those guys now yeah geez that's yeah, a mate. good setup mate are you? that's have a look everything's at your fingertips here yeah, isn't it you got a, all there. your workbench your, your your stove your fridge 
stereo. All, your, all your stereo on that's over here, charging. and the, all your battery charging and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. mate, really good, really impressive setup, isn't it? And there's a gutter system here to keep all this waterproof yeah, too. So this was the first one. Uh, kids just got the gutter on the side. From now on, they've all got a gutter out to the front, out to the side. Takes yeah. all your water out, so it doesn't matter how bad it is. Yeah. All your water's off. It's Nothing worse when you're out camping, guys, eh? And yeah, she's belting down rain, and you're always going to get water in somewhere. Or Luke's got the gutter systems now to, to keep all to that, that, you know. Yeah. The other thing I'll say too, because we make our own, we've got our own canvas factory. So even our walls, mate. A lot of people get landlocked when they go camping with the height. Yeah. All these poles are adjustable, so we've actually made the top of our valance. We can put a piece in there with the arch, so you can actually set yourself up. Why, if it's wet, you really got to get these jacked off at different yeah, heights. Yeah. So because we make our own, we can do all that stuff. Yeah. And that's, it's not all generic. So yeah. I think that's the beauty. That's the, one of the great things about yeah. Drifter. It's customization. Yeah. We have so many options for people, and that's what they love. And yeah. a lot of these ideas have come from customers, not just Luke. You know, yeah. it's been people who said, "Oh, I've had just one. good feedback and that." Yeah. This way, you know. All these little work lights and everything. It's yeah. just got everything. Yeah. All these LED lights up here, amazing. All right, we'll keep. Yeah. Gonna say you use one of these yet? Not yet, no. So we found these a few years ago, like, um, you know, if you're going up home there, and that, like, that's virtually like a chainsaw. So 500 long, turns into a big, like, metre saw. Yeah. And, mate, it'll hack through anything. I've seen around. Luke using it on yeah. the, one of his videos. He's yeah. going through uh, red gum or whatever, like, six-inch red gum, and it's chewing through it. So that's why we do then. There's a massive one there that they, they use a lot of those in ice, yeah. and they'll cut through ice and everything. So it's um, huge. Well, they silky. Silky saws, mate. Silky saws, yeah. Japanese, Japanese again, are they? Yeah. yeah, high quality. They make good stuff, don't they? Obviously, the yeah, fire pit, and that's sort of what we're a bit renowned for. This is the one you got, Rob, eh? The, the fire, drifter fire pit? That's a large that? drifter fire pit. Oh, right, eh? So they go either way. Very smart. 316 stainless. I've had one for about five years. Yeah. Doesn't matter how much. I can build a fire that big. You won't bow that, break it. You have a feel. Yeah, quality stuff. it is, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, let's keep going around. I know, you see all this shiny stuff and you think it's uh, thin and flimsy, guys. This isn't. This is this is real solid stuff. Well, it's, this yeah. little uni frame like you've got? Yep. Yeah, I've got this. is the one i got. So that's the top? The top piece, so you can hang your um, hanging stuff on there. Yep. So, I mean, they're not light. That's a high quality uni flame spun steel. Oh, jeez. You feel the weight? Yeah, that's some okay. weight. You wouldn't want to drop that on your toe with the old Japanese safety boots on, mate. <laughs> So we sell a lot of those, um, like fire tongs, just got everything. Yeah. Know? So all that stuff. Right? So people can come in off the street and just buy at the yeah, store, mate? Yeah, buying here, so yeah, everything's got a price, and um, yeah, you can just, we've set it up this way, you can just come and grab it, so it's pretty industrial. Yeah, yeah. and the good thing is, it's, it's, it's here ready to, to buy and take away, but you can see it set up too, guys, and if you've got any questions about it, Tofty's happy to answer any questions you've got, and yeah. all that type of stuff. Say, because old mate's an axeman too, like so he did me one obviously. I yeah. watched Luke put my name in it. But the uh Halter for his axes, mate, high quality axe. They make a nice sheath. Actually, Luke's son makes these. Yeah. Puts them together quite Someone at work asked me about your axes the other day. I can't remember who it was now, and he's asking me about your leather axe guards and stuff like that. So this is a really nice axe, you know. Nice and white too, yeah. mate, eh? Absolute high quality. They're all uh, very nice, yeah. Good gear, and we sharpen them up, make them a little bit different, and yeah. oil them up with an Australian product. So it's good gear, mate. I'm going to show you a bit of the canvas. So that's another thing we're sort of really taking off. Now this is the stuff I have got, guys. The canvas bags and that, yeah, and they're, down, they're, yeah. they're good, eh? And there's a canvas bag for every occasion. Let me tell you, <laughs> even ones for the girls, the pink ones. So we got pink, blue, green, grey, khaki. We've got camo, black. 
we've got go the camo today. ones and what's good too so this came out of like customers saying i want to see in the gear that's like your in yep. your drawer so yep. the back of your bt50 you get a few of them mate then you can actually see what you've yeah. there you don't look like an idiot looking around for stuff you know and you'll see they've got them uh, over in the dot there a heap of these bags all your kitchen gear and whatever and fantastic idea they all look the same and uh, that way you just look in and yeah so there's another option there guys so you know actually what's inside the bag once again thinking outside the square mate you know yeah and like i say a lot of people buy a lot of really good stuff they want to put it in bags so chainsaw bags are really popular rv tents so we work with oz tent um they make brilliant products just sometimes the bag like, like everything, mate, yeah, you, yeah, you get it out and you can't get it back great. in again. The bag's pretty ordinary. So we, we make our own yeah. bunker bags, we make RV tent bags, um, heaps of stock, mate. And then we've got into a collaboration with these guys from Ultimate Campus. So yeah. Luke and I went down there this last week, hung out with the guys from Ultimate, another great Australian company, doing something different because they came out of the boating industry. Yeah, right. So it's eh? pretty cool. That's why it looks a bit boaty. He uses all really high grade gear. Um, do some awesome stuff. This one's all set up full lithium pack. All the red art gear, hot water system, mate. Yeah. Here. Now this is above. We, we our dearest trail would be forty thousand. So we're from forty down to say fifteen thousand. This is that fifty to sixty five thousand yeah. dollar market. Yeah. But with that, you get like you can live inside. You know, it's it's got a. You want to come and have a look? I had a quick look in it before. It's yeah. it's bloody pretty it's impressive, mate. Eh? You know, and that was one of the things we wanted yeah. to say. Can you imagine our hexatarp? They make an awning as well, but we want to use like our hexatarp and go over here. Yeah. And what a feature this will add. So people can live outdoors. There's your double mefo again, or we can put a double charcoal box yeah. there. Yeah. Pizza oven, do whatever you like. Because what we're finding is you go to a lot of parks now, they won't let you have a fire, they won't let you do all that stuff. We don't really like heat beads because heat beads aren't so fantastic environmentally. The other thing we find is they leave a heap of like sand yeah. and they grind or grit up all your gear. Yeah. So we use 100% charcoal and it's an Australian product, it comes actually from Cunnamulla. So how good is that? I used to live there. Those guys. <laughs> yeah. oh, I lived out west for a while. Yeah. So we, uh, we use that, mate, and we find that burns longer, lasts longer. You can actually reuse charcoal and it's environmentally friendly. So mm. it makes sense. So yeah, Great little addition. The ultimate, you don't need to, but we'll have a yeah. As I said, we'll probably give Luke, Luke to give us a uh, an in detail look through that bit later on as a separate clip, guys. So this one doesn't go for too long, but she's pretty impressive looking uh, rig, isn't it? But as I said, guys, this is this for if you're yeah. right up there. And I was actually uh, Cape York. Some oldies had one. Of, I'm pretty sure it was this exact one, mate, yeah. up at Cape York, and they yeah, were they really got happy with it. 1,500 of those out there, and yeah. really good following. Great group of people. So for us, it was finding people that we would connect with that were like us so i know like you're coming to our fans event you're yeah, invited ab guests absolutely and, uh, mate, you yeah. and Roz, and i think it's pretty important that you're both there yeah um because part of that it's a family event so really yeah. looking forward to that. i'm gonna have one there i'm gonna have one in queensland so you fellas from north can come down yeah i've had a few people have uh mentioned that to me that oh i can't get down to the new nah, south wales one but there is a queensland one yeah, yeah so we're gonna do a queensland one in september oh yeah so we'll i'll let you obviously know about that and we'll get it out there on the channel. But the main thing for us is I'm an ex-community worker. Whole ethos of what we're doing is yeah. bringing people together. Camping's one of the best places to do that. Yeah, it's the best way, mate. you see yeah. the way we do stuff brings people together. So yeah. that, that filters out of this whole business. You know, there's yeah. nothing here that's all individual. There's heaps of options, different yeah. things, but it's all about just getting people together. And yeah. that's as, what we love. As Toffy said to me on the, on the phone, you know, we talk a lot on the phone, mate, yeah. when I'm coming back from work and that and it's not just about selling products for drifter guys it's it's just about the whole community and getting people together and yeah you know you're gonna the thursday night cook-ups and all that type yeah, of stuff that's something no one else offers now yeah. obviously we're here we have to make money there's no doubt about that but that's not our driving force um, no. those bags have been individual if you wanted to make a lot of money you wouldn't have 300 bags no. if you want to make a lot of money you wouldn't have 40 different options yeah well, that's that's the difference obviously. exactly yeah you know uh, if you want to make money you just make one off you wouldn't yeah. muck around making the new roof topper you just say that's as good as it gets yeah that's what i love about luke well why don't we do it yeah and it, he's he's just full on he's just so keen to improve things and i can't wait to have a chat a little bit later luke's going to run us through that new rooftop guys you've got some good plans for that 
What else we got to say about this place, mate? It's looking good. What, yeah, well, any, what else has got to be done here? You, yeah. you got full stock yet? Or? Well, I was just going to say, so a month and a half ago, I rang Luke and said, I think we need to open a shop in, in Brisbane, in Queensland. Yeah. So he said, well, right, mate, well, you go find a spot, make it happen. So in a month, what we've done is we've got 340 square metres here. Within that time now, we've taken on extra 250 square metres. So we're going to have a depot so we can do hand, like today, you can see we've got a new trailer outside, we're yeah. handing one over. Because we built eight a month just of our trailers, plus all the other stuff that goes on. Like a 70 staff back in Gloucester. So straight away we needed more canvas bags because we're retail, we want to have them here for yeah, people yeah. to pick up. So within that month, we've had to double our canvas production. We've had to get transport and we do all our own transport. So Luke's actually himself driven up here now three times with a truck full of gear. Well, well, we've also painted floors, painted walls, we're extending the showroom, we're putting in an office. So, mate, it's, you know, it's like today yeah. the noise you can hear is signage is going up. Yeah, signs up. going up, yeah. Uh, and we've been averaging about 20 to 30 people a day and we're getting over 100 people on the weekend. So, it's been more beyond what we ever expected because, as you can see, we're still work in progress. But everyone who comes in, I haven't had anyone yet that's been a hard customer or hard work, mate. Just yeah. genuine people looking for good stuff and really just like looking at the quality. And yeah. the feedback is um, they just love and trust that Luke goes around, picks the eyes pretty much out of a lot of products and goes. So they sort of trust that. And I think that's a pretty big thing in this business. It's a lot of trust. Absolutely, mate. And it's, um, it's come a long way. And I, I think I was saying to you before the camera went, a real smart move. Like, South East Queensland is just a four-wheel drives oh, mecca. mecca. You've got hey. Buddy Morton Island, you've Fraser Island. You've, you, yeah. It's a central place to get to a lot of you know, We're and so isolated like, up in North Queensland. Yeah, we don't have access to a lot no. of those places. But, um, so now what we're doing is free freight to here. And obviously, we still have our online shop. We're doing 40 sets of drawers a week. Uh, mm. I've sold five sets of drawers this week. None of them I'd ever uh, had to sell. I just went, I want that because they've had challenges. They've had different vehicles that no one else makes drawers to suit. They yeah. go, oh, Drifty, you guys. And they're reasonably priced. So I think that's a big part of our business. We'll have a look at your drawers yeah. later on, mate. When we'll do a separate little clip on them. Bloody top quality, yeah. aren't they? They really are. But I just want to say, mate, thanks for coming down and hanging out and, you know, being a part of us as well. And we support oh, what mate. you're doing, mate. Yeah. And um, thanks for your support. Mate, us, mate, thank you. And it's a pleasure to be, I don't yeah. know, just even, you know, when I got your email that day and you said, would you like to test a bit of our gear out? Yeah. I, was, I was over the moon, mate, because I've I been following want, this company yeah, for a long time. And I just want to be honest up front, too. Like, we send you a bit of gear, mate, but you've bought gear off us. You're yeah. not out there looking for freebies or anything. But to, to support Buck and to keep this channel going, you actually need new content, new gear, different yeah. things to try. So I really appreciate that you did that. No, that's a lot all right, of people mate, yeah. don't want to do that, but you actually did that, and I really appreciate it, and you give honest feedback. Yeah. So, I'll tell you the truth, guys. I was... All these years I've been mean, reviewing all the stuff that I've bought, Matt, you run out of stuff after a while. It was good. Uh, Tofty's come on board and give me some canvas bags and all that. And uh, it's just, it's just given me a new interest and it's just made the, the channel go to the next level. And have a look at the gear, guys. I'm in heaven at the moment doing video clips on, on this stuff. So it doesn't get much better than that. But anyway, mate, thanks again. No worries, mate. We'll have a more in detail look around some of the, especially the dot trailer, the new roof topper, the ultimate camper over here. And we'll, we'll show you some more in depth but hey guys if you're in the south east queensland area get down on saturday morning get down to the drifter store have a look around i bet you won't walk out without pulling the, <laughs> the wallet out of your back pocket i'll tell you what there's some good gear here all right mate thanks no again and uh right. no worries we'll have a more in-depth look at some of the other stuff in a minute eh? totally. thanks guys Cheers.